Luca Capici. Hello, mate. Yeah. Good to meet Good. you. Good. Reading Festival. Yeah, big one. It's the big one. How's it been so far for you today? It was. Am- really oh. serious. It was amazing. We. Uh, it was our first show at Reading and Leeds since lockdown. Yeah, we did that 2019 BBC intro, which was crazy as well. But yep. this one was a step above, man. Lots of crowd surfs, lots it, of inflatables. It was, to be fair, like, yeah, I've not had a bad experience with uh, Reading so far. It's absolutely <laughs> superb. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, it was Good. packed out. We had a great time. Good. And really good. Uh, once you finish here this weekend, what's the plan next for you guys? Ah, uh, well, after this, probably cry, go home and cry for about yeah, four yeah. days. It's <laughs> for a while, that's sure. uh, after this, we have our second album coming out on the 23rd of September. It's nice. called Here's What You Could Have Won. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, it's our second album, and we're really really excited about it. And we'll be following it up with a load of in-store shows um, around that. We're doing our biggest headline show at the Delaware in Bexhill, i.e. Hastings, which is nearly sold out. And then we'll be going on tour with the Hunter, and then we'll be enjoying Christmas, and then we'll be back on tour doing it proper. Busy times. Yeah, yeah, but that's how we like it. That's yeah. how we like Good. it. How's the second album sounding? Mate, it's literally like the most. <laughs> it's like the most. Trust, like, trust me, it's literally the most proud of anything we've ever been, yeah, man. We're I mean, about it. Yeah. I mean, we can all safely say, woohoo! Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we literally. It's really we played, good. We're very happy with it. We played Go a it. song tonight, and like to finale the set, no one's ever heard off the album, and like people literally so received it so well, man, and like it was mad. So yeah, when you play a song, though, like, when you play a song for the first time, and you get the best reaction of all the songs, it's a good, it's a good sign. It's yeah, a good it sign. It was wicked. It was really good. We we had a great time. Good. Yeah. Good. And uh, how does this record sound in comparison to the debut and to the to the EPs of yours? Uh, I think right it's there? like I definitely think we've like focused a lot more on the uh, the production and stuff. I think there's a lot more beat driven aspects to it, but that's not to say the whole thing's beat driven. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff that's more stripped back. Like I think we've definitely explored kind of like the edges of what Capiccio can be. It's got more you know? of like all of our personal like flavors in it do you know what i mean it's like you've still got your classic capici like sound but like yeah like with the production yeah. and like all of the yeah it's a lot the of first vibes. album was like a caged dog where you felt like you know we did the best of what we could do in that confined space literally and metaphorically and then this album was like we were let loose <laughs> and it was like you could do what was in your head for the first album you know it was like yeah. it's always been there but we had the time and the and the expertise of other people and the money to kind of like do something bigger and better um, the whole process is just the so yeah it's, it's kind of like I love the first album so much and I'm glad that that exists before this one because it shows that progression you know but yeah it's like a dog let loose I would say it makes it sound you be- make you're getting better rather than worse I hope so yeah I, I fucking <laughs> let's, let's see how it does we'll, 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 see, other we'll, we'll see what the, what the telegraph says I say yeah. <laughs> so uh, when you go into a studio you've obviously got the demos down and, and ready how does it go from that demo to a finished we actually end up recording the song like three or four times. We do like the very initial demo, then the demo gets reworked, then we record it properly, and then we record it again in the actual studio. By the time it gets round to like the the proper studio session, like so much of the demo stuff has been refined to a point where we're so happy with it that it's like cool. Yeah, that's we'll, it. We'll redo some drums, add this, and like you know work on the tones a bit. But we, we work we work hard we work on the hard. demos to make sure that like when we go in and record it, like 50% of the stuff on the demo you just copy and paste straight over. Like when we did this album, it was like some of the vocal takes that we did, like I would say most of them were the demo ones, and we yeah. just we just put them for a load of doing that vibe and the energy's there you can't recreate that that was it with new england we we tune is fresh you know we recorded new england in your living room yeah and and then we tried to recreate it like in a studio and and dom who produced it um was just like i'm gonna use the original ones like with the shit (laughs) microphone and like do you know what i mean it was just sometimes you just get that moment of excitement when you first write a song that you can't replicate you may, you, may well, you may as well like when 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 we're when like you know when you've all got when like because we're all like producers and stuff it's like when you can make it good you may as well make it as good as you can in that first initial yeah. thing it's no point in like scratching something shit like you like it's the funnest bit yeah absolutely totally agree yeah, for sure and heading out on tour it's going to be busy what's it like going to be uh, going out with the boys in the hunter it's going to be good man 
Love those guys. We met them with the Yumi at Six thing in Hatfield, man, and it was like, man, to be honest with you, like, just got on like a house yeah, on fire. Like, the thing you were saying earlier, like, people take us on tour because we need party, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't they know, don't care baby. about the music. We just, we're just good at throwing a party. Even if it's not our party to throw, we'll throw it. Yeah, like, it's a good idea, like, and then, like, two weeks into the tour, they're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? We're regretting it now. Yeah. yeah. You, the thing is, like, when you're on tour with a band, it's like, you, 10% is how much you like their music, and 90% is do you want to spend a month hanging out with them so it's like <laughs> all, time, all day, all day yeah. we, we met them at the Umi at 6 like we were saying and, and we just hit it off really 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 nice guys and like we, we're really excited to go on tour with them Re- yeah and they're, fucking rip. and they're fans their fans are like the, they're the fans you want to get in with because they're super dedicated so we're, we're, we feel honoured to be doing it Good, good. Really and good. looking towards next year, 2023. Yeah. What, what's the plan? Do you think you might be writing more and releasing? We're always more writing. We're writing more now, to be honest. If you like, take over the world. That's yeah. the plan. <laughs> we're constantly, we're constantly writing. We're never not writing. I think you know, we. I think we'd like to take a bit more time. Like, not that we rushed the second album at all. It, it was kind of like the easiest thing. We it just came yeah. out. But like, I think. You know, like take a bit more time. You get a bit more forgiveness with your time between album two and album three. Album one to two is like a bit of a rush. So we'll take a bit more time with this one. And I think we just really just want to be on the road as much as possible. Gigging, gigging, gigging. We'll be the last few months. We've not gigged as much as we would be we'd like. So like, I just want to be on the road. Yeah, next year is going to just be gigging. I think, but writing as much as possible. But I think next year we'll be exploring new territories. Like you know, Uh, we'll be in Europe as, a, as us headlining for the first time because we were meant to do that pre-COVID, never happened. But, you know, blessing and a curse, like, I mean, a blessing in disguise because now we'll go and we'll play to, like, triple the people and it'll be amazing after doing the Nothing But Thieves stuff, the Frank Carter stuff. So that'll be great. And then hopefully we'll, we'll get to cross some form of pond at some point as Haven't well. Haven't you been before that you want to get to? Uh, yeah. The States, baby. And Japan, man. Yeah, and Japan. Yeah. That's what I'm lazy being. America and Japan. Man. And it's looking promising for next year, especially for America. So, to all our American fans, all two of you, we'll, we'll be there. <laughs> Hope so. Sweet. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Having a catch-up. Yes, Jim. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. My brother. Pleasure.